Well, as many of you may know, today is the second. Well, I actually hope most of you know today is the second. But as many of you may also know, today is Every Second Matters Day because we decided that every second of every month would be the day that we did something to promote gun awareness. Now, some of us are open carrying that day of every month, and I'm one of those ones that is open carrying. So I want to give you a little recount of my day today. See what went on, you know, I always said open carry was something I wasn't really into and I'm still not really into it. It's something I don't see as a tactical advantage at all. People can make that argument of, you know, is it better to be, have the gun seen and deter the crime or have the gun not be seen and be able to better defend against the crime. It's kind of a chicken and an egg story. So, you know, I'm not here to, to uh, settle that. I'm just here to talk about what happened to me today while I was open carrying. Now today I kind of uh, lamed out and I didn't upgrade my carry gun. I went ahead and went with my regular everyday Beretta PX4 Storm Carry, mainly because I couldn't find the holster to my SIG, so I kind of had to slum it with my Beretta today with my everyday carry gun. Now on a side note, one thing I do have to do if I'm going to open carry once a month now is I gotta get some belts that fit again. Where I've lost the weight, these belts are coming clear around to the back side of the holster again, so I kind of got to tuck them back under and shove them under there because they're not made to go through the loops twice, so it's a little hard to do, so I've either got to buy some belts that fit or I've got to uh, gain the weight back one or the other. Now once again today I open carry. Now one thing about today is it's a little cold so I was wearing a vest a lot of the time. Uh, you know like a like an arctic vest kind of a thing and I thought about it first of tucking it behind my holster when I was wearing it but that just looked too gangster, too, too tactical wannabe to me, too tacty cool kind of a thing. So I decided you know that just doesn't look right. So when I had my coat on you couldn't see it but I tried to get through most of the day without my coat. Now, I really only had one person really say anything to me today, and that was I, I had stopped at this little convenience store, and I had to get gas and wanted to get some chips and some soda for my kids, stuff like that. And I went back and got the stuff, and as I walk up to the cash register, there's a little old lady behind the counter, and she's not that old, she's probably mid-50s, little Asian lady, and she said, oh, is that real? And I was like, yes, it's real, and she's like, you're not going to rob me, are you? And I was like, nope, not going to rob you. I think well, she said, this is not a holdup, is it? And I was like, nope, jokingly she said it. And I was like, nope, not a holdup, not going to rob you. And she just kind of laughed and, ha -ha, and rang up my stuff. So she didn't say much, didn't do much, wasn't a big deal. Uh, now, one place I did go today that I thought it was going to be a problem is I went to the range today. Now, our range has a rule of no holstered weapons. You cannot carry your concealed carry gun in there. You can't carry an open carry gun in there. No holsters in weapons. Any weapon has to either be bagged or has to be on a table, pointing down range, or pointing up. I mean, it sounds like a stupid rule that you can't have your concealed carry gun or your open carry gun at a range, but that's the rule at this range. Now, I went in, I was like, screw it. I'm going to open carry my gun. If they say something to me, they say something to me, I'll just never come back. So I really wasn't too worried about the outcome of it. I just wanted to see what would happen because today is my open carry day, so I kind of wanted to stick to it. Uh, so, sadly, I... Nothing happened. I mean, I guess not sadly, but nothing happened. I went there, I shot. I mean, I've even got video of me shooting there, showing that I'm open carrying while I'm shooting. Uh, nothing really happened. Now, my son, I took him shooting with me today. I was helping him shoot his new uh, Christmas present. And uh, I've got a video coming up on that. And I've got another video coming up on something else that happened at the range today I want to talk about later. So keep your eyes open for those. But right now, I want to deal with just the open carry experience. But once again, nothing really happened. It was boring. Open carry is boring. Now, if you want to still have the debate whether it's practical or it's tactical, you can have those debates all you want. But when it comes to whether it's boring or not, boy, it's boring. And I guess that's actually a good thing. It's a good thing that people really don't notice you, don't care. I mean, I guess it doesn't help that I look kind of like a narc. I've looked like a narc since I was 18 years old. So people really don't notice me. I guess maybe if I would look like a gangbanger, people might notice me more. Uh, but I don't. This is what I look like. I've had to make my peace with it. And people don't seem to care that I have a gun looking like this. So once again, my report for Every Second Matters Open Carry Day is nothing happened. Uh, other than a convenience store clerk making a little joke at me and going to the range, no one really seemed to notice, no one really seemed to care, and I guess in the end, that could be considered a really good thing.